community of Burke was founded in the mid-1800s around a station on the Orange and Alexandria Railroad. By the time Fairfax County began its public school system in the early 1870s, the community, then known as Burke's Station, had become a thriving rural village. Children attended several nearby one-room schoolhouses. These early schools were segregated by race. The Ashford School for white children was located on present-day Guinea Road. Bel Air, also for white children, was located near the present-day intersection of Burke Lake Road and the Fairfax County Parkway. The Pearson School, a one-room schoolhouse for African-American children, was located a short distance away from Bel Air, close to present-day Windward Drive. By the early 1900s, population growth in the Burke community necessitated the opening of another school in the village. This photograph, from 1908, depicts children attending a school in the old train depot. In 1911, the Marshall family sold two acres of land to the school board of Lee District. The next year, a two-room schoolhouse opened on the site. Later, the structure expanded to three rooms. Burke resident Bill Sheeds shares his memories of his time at this Burke school. There are several things that I can recall, like, um, well, we had wood stove, big old pot belly wood stove, and we had, had a wood shed out there and some of us older boys would be called on by Mrs. Estes to go out and bring in an armful of wood and put in a stove. Every Halloween, some of the older boys from around Burke would get up on that school with a bunch of old guana bags, you know, like feed comes in, cat, uh, farm feed for cattle and horses, and stuff it down the chimney. And when it light up in the morning, it cover that. That whole school, just nothing but smoke in there. You need a smoke mask almost to go in. The, uh, another thing I recall about attending Burke School, it was, uh, of course, I remember the reading, writing, and arithmetic. It was all on the pad, you know, no computer, no this and that and the other. Just an old pencil, and you go and sharpen your pencil. And it was an eight and a half by 11 pad. And it was that old soft paper. You could write something on it. And you go to erase it. Then you're going to tear the hole in the paper because it was cheap paper at that time. By the late 1930s, the student population of the Burke area had grown so large that the three room schoolhouse needed to be replaced. In 1939, a new brick. Burke Elementary School was built on present-day Burke Lake Road on land sold to the school system by the Simpson family. This school was built during the Great Depression as part of a project of the WPA, or Works Progress Administration, under President Roosevelt's New Deal program. Suzanne fowler Neal reflects on her time at the new Burke Elementary School. We loved our school. I'm sitting in now what they call the library, this was a sixth grade classroom when I was growing up. And it had wonderful walls that were like an accordion. And they would open those up when we had assemblies and open up this whole room. The kids would shove, shove their, window, their desk against the wall. And we had a stage here. And we would perform on the stage, do skits, and the PTA would do skits on the stage. We had such a good time here. We had a maypole dance. That was always fun. Out on the side here, they, they'd put up a great big pole and they have crepe paper streamers. They'd put them up and we'd have, oh, it seemed like hundreds of streamers coming down. And everybody got a streamer in the school and we spread them all out and they'd play the music on May Day and we'd wrap this pole, but that was fun. Burke was just rural then. A lot of farms, but the neighbors, everybody knew everybody. If you got in trouble, well, we didn't have the internet, but I tell you what, the grapevine works every bit as fast as it did. Your mother or your grandmother knew what you'd done by the time you got home from school. It had filtered up. Following World War II, Fairfax County experienced several waves of rapid population growth. As the community around Burke Elementary School expanded, so did the school through renovations and additions. 
In the early 1960s, Fairfax County Public Schools opened its first middle schools and instituted kindergarten education. For Burke Elementary, this change meant the loss of the school's seventh grade and the early adoption of the kindergarten program, as Burke was one of the pilot sites for the new program. In 1965, Fairfax County Public Schools desegregated, bringing the first African-American students to Burke Elementary. Prior to this, African-American students from the Burke area were bused to Eleven Oaks Elementary School in the city of Fairfax. The 1970s brought additional changes to Burke Elementary, as enrollment growth forced administrators to move the kindergarten classes out of the building to Hunt Valley Elementary School. In 1983, the Fairfax County School Board, concerned with the aging of the building, voted to close Burke Elementary as an operating school at the end of the 1983-84 school year. After it closed, the school was converted into a special education center. The school continues to serve in this capacity today. Follow Schools of Yesteryear as we explore many other historic public schools of Fairfax County.